Hello, the world. The Carmelita one back with some more modded Skyrim. Where we left off at the Standing Stones, we picked our Warrior Stone, and now we're continuing on following this gentleman that told us to go by ourselves and is still waiting for us. So let's carry on. You know, my walk is faster than your sprint. So it's really awkward. We're gonna go ahead and just push on through to the village and, uh, yeah. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. If we run into any Imperials, just let me do the talking, alright? Nah, it's fine, I got this. I'm a genius when it comes to speech. We're not gonna end up in prison or anything like that, I swear. We're just gonna run ahead of him because uh, he walks quite slow. Riverwood discovered. Bye. Alrighty, so. Let's see here, first things first. See if we can do anything over the hall. Hey, Did buddy. I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Sven. Sounds like a great man to talk to. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks mm -hmm. his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. Someone sounds jealous. I don't need your jokes right now. But maybe you have a point. <laughs> maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. What could is you, he, though? Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. What if you're too matching, well. but it turns out to be actually clever, and then they get married and have babies, then you just look stupid. Alright, whatever. Oh, hey. Gerder. Brother, Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerda. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerda. No, we just fixed that. If you're looking also, for ignore work, any scratching in the background. The puppy is currently trying to make her way underneath her bed. She is eating the bed. I'll keep you posted. Uh, uh, what can you tell me about Riverwood? It's my meal. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. Wish. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land in the town. I just pay the taxes. Mm. Uh... Do you have any supplies of I could course. take? Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there's Sweet, anything else you need, mind. just let me know. I mean, oh, <laughs> what's this all about? What are you two doing here? I'll tell you after I take your cheese, and your gold. Yes. Bop, bop. And we'll take the meat for good luck. Well, you know, just a dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Well, Rayloff and I escaped together. A dragon? In Helgen? Yeah. It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. You were drunk. It's fine. It was, in fact, a dragon. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Do Things I, just though? go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a Hellfire. dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. You're right. 
follow me. Oh my Paul, goodness. come here a minute. We'll need that I need eventually. your help with something. What is it, woman? Sven drunk on the job again? Sven's Pod, here. just come here. Sven again. What are you doing here? Huh. I'll be right down. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Alfred Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. This child and had the bloodlust. Wait. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. About murder. Find your mother, boy. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. And slaughtering right. millions. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Jesus Christ. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. Whew, where to start? Well, the news you heard about Ulfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. My head Cowards. was on the block. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then... Out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. At the weed. When your friend told me, I didn't believe it at first either. I can hardly believe it myself. Do I look like and a I liar? was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Face of truth. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. I'm glad oh, to help hello. any way I can. I mean, I know how. But you Cross can tell the river us. And then head north. So You'll helpful. See White Run on its hill as you pass the falls. Sweet. If I was actually here, I sure that would help me. Uh, what can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled White Run hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. Mm. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. Or I'll pick. Why is he loyal to the Empire? I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. Mm. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. Because all these ma names make so much sense to me. I mean, <laughs> you support the Stormcloaks, then? Mm -hmm. Of course. Ulfric's cause is just. It's time for Skyrim to rid itself of the Empire. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Thalos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Even Aelof is helping drive them out of Talos here. Was just a if man. I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. Uh, who... Supplies. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Of course. Alvar can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Sweet. You seem very, like, judging of my I want in a new I sword. I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turig just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turig was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turig dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. We already know he killed the High King, so there's no High King No, now, not so. until the Moot meets to choose another. And it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Good. Don't worry, though. Ulfric is our rightful High King. 
He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. I have doubt mm. for that. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. Well, they not that I don't to love this touching missed, family, not family reunion. Anyone else but I'm out of McFallon. To the blacksmith. I'm sure he made it I keep doing that. It's not like I'm trying to jump repeatedly. It's fine. All right. Hello, Alvor. Every day we get visitors. And what hmm. you got for sale? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I don't know if you can suit my needs. I would like some dangerous stuff right about now, but it's fine. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's try to clear out our inventory of garbage, considering I am uh, a massive hoarder. But one, get rid of that. We'll keep that because we will need it for something. Man, my speech. Beautiful. Get rid of that. 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 Oh. Well, hopefully we didn't need that. Oh, I can't sell jewelry to you yet. Damn. All right. Um. Mm. I doubt he has anything better than what I own. Shooby doo bop. How much gold I got? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do that quite Until yet. Until next time. Indeed. Hobbits isn't too friendly with strangers. But I you mean, seem alright. I mean. I'm an orc. Keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're With crazy. fire and an axe. And I've got better things to do than listen to yeah, your Yeah, back off. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe me. Can he believe you from the grave, old lady? Alright. So first things first. Do we go to Whiterun or do we help with the Sven thing? Mm, I think for now... Let's find Sven. We've heard his name a lot. We need to see his face. He's a bard, so let's check the inn. This is the traitor. Just kidding. Ooh. There we go. Hopefully he's in here. If not, uh, we might be going to White Run. Alrighty. Sven. Mm hmm. Are you nope. listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Hello. Hello, Delphine. I don't know who you You're are. You're that visitor here. been poking around. Yes. Got a problem with it? Oh, no Sven in here. Wait, who the... Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Hmm. I don't you know look if like I a like traveler. You. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. I saw a dragon in Helgen. That's a pretty good story. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. Oh no, she's You'd pretty crazy. You'd best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Well, I'm sure. We'll get there eventually. Uh... Where did you learn to play so well, even though I haven't heard you play? At the Bard's College in Solitude. They train bards and skalds like myself. Lame. If you go there, talk to Viarmo. He's the headmaster. No, oh, no. Oh, god dang it. No matter where I go, I will grab a quest, apparently. Um... So, uh, Ferdinand wanted me to deliver this letter to Camellia and said it was from you. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Feindel? Here. I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Can I bring this to him, too? Mm -hmm. We're just gonna keep handing letters back and forth between these guys until they fall in love. That's the plan. Now I gotta find the frickin' elf again. Do some more health, please. Do, do, do. 
Now, when it comes to the leveling, I don't... I'm not sure exactly how I want to play this character just yet. All I know is for now, I want to hit things in the face. A lot. So we're going to go for that for now. Alright, for now, let's find uh, Ferdinal. Fern Gully. Fern Gully. There we go. Tell me, as soon as you've given... Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. All right, then. Oh, can I not give it to Fern Gully? Oh, did I mess up? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> hey, Camellia, where you at? I got a letter for you. I I have already started the treachery. Woo. I guess we giving this to the lady. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. I oh. walked in at a bad time. <clears throat> <The> customer. <clears throat> Sorry you had to hear that. No, it's fine. I'm not used to this or anything already. I'm going to woo your well, daughter. I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. I'm going to woo your daughter real quick. Don't mind me. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Oh, sorry, your brother. Sister. You're it's not fine. from around here. That makes two of us. <clears throat> Sven wanted to trick you into believing that this letter was from Ferdinand. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? I don't know. Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. I'd better get going. I would love to know what was in that letter. Hello! My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Um... Did, did something uh, happen? Yeah, the, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. Uh-huh. We still have plenty to sell. Uh-huh. Robbers were only after one thing. Can I steal some stuff? An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna regret asking this. Could I help you get the claw back? You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Uh -huh. If you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast of town. Logan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. No. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. I don't... Hey, guys, I have a map. I don't need a helper. Uh... I'm gonna just leave her on the outskirts of town and say good luck, girly. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to. Yeah, don't care. Bleak Falls Barrow. West Ferno. You can see it from don't here. Don't care. Though. The mountain just over the buildings. Woman, did I say you could talk? Bird and Earl. Hello. Is he back here? Is this his home? Ferdinand, do you live here? I guess he does. It's fine. We're just breaking and entering to tell you about your girly friend. Hello. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. 25. Well, aren't you a rich man? Farewell. I'm not having him follow me because he will die. And, and just, nope, we're not dragging people into our mistakes. We're gonna wait. Alrighty. So, with that, let's go ahead and head to Whiterun. 
that's the wait button. So white runs a bit of a trek up. I'm going to fast forward until I get to at least the outskirts of it. So until then, enjoy some uh, speedy up bits. So let's go. You're welcome. You You're look welcome. strong. Come to your Vasker and be a companion. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Sweet. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield sister. Well, thank you, Ayla. But I mean, <clears throat> what is a shield sister? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An oh, I mean, I have. Warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. I like money. Money sounds great right now, considering I am broke. Can I join in? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. I got this. I'm here to help. Sweet, can I? Ah. Uh. So good. That one arrow, though. But we are on the outskirts of White Run. I always like to try to jump in and help with the uh, giant. No. You will be mine. You will be mine when I'm not broke. <laughs> Hello? Alrighty then. But let's see what's all going on in White Run. We'll see if there's anything here that's worth our time. At least I don't think White Run's a bunch of racists. Ooh. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Sweet. More thank you. <sighs> White Ron we'll discovered. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. I can do it. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect the miracle. Okay. Alright, we got another level up, though. I'm feeling that pumped health. Alright, so let's... So other than stealth, something we've been doing a lot is talking. I mean, other than fighting, we've been doing a lot of stuff. So let's uh, let's work on our haggling skills because we're gonna need some gold. Alrighty, so we have mission to go talk to the Yarl. So let's go up and get him. That's also I know it's Yarl, but it's fine. Also, let's just religion really fast. Ah, yes. A religion real good. Dragon's screech. I almost said screech. No. I mean, there might be some of that going on later. Now, when it comes to these main quests, 
we're not going to be following too close to the main quest because that's what just that? we'll be done too nothing. quick and nothing fun will happen my lord please this is no time for rash action what's the meaning of this interruption Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. He is now. Is this, I have news from Helgen. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. I bet. Miss. A better orc than you. So, you were at Helgen. You saw Never. this dragon with your own eyes? I did. And I, home, and I got hit like three times and knocked over by it too. Uh, I guess I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut my head off. Mmm, that one doesn't sound that great. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. I mean, yeah. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? Consider you could fly. Lord, we should send mm. troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Yep. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. Yeah. Get that out of here. Best. Well Nerd. Done. I mean, you hello. You sought me out on your own initiative. Mm -hmm. You've done white run a service. It wasn't on my quest I marker won't or anything. Forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Can I sell it? There is another thing you could do for me. You don't say. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. All I did was run over Come, here, but sure. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okie dokie. Lead the way, fancy butt. Can I sit in your chair? Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry, just <clears throat> had an impulse. It's fine. Hello, Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Yes, Mr. Secrecy Man. Um, let's see here. The girl has a project you need help with. Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. I think I could. I'll wait the for Jarl the can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne. Not over here in a wizard's laboratory. Faringar, I think I found someone who Called can help it. you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with <laughs> all the details. Gotcha. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. I literally just... Mm. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. I literally well, just asked if when you I say help. fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that mm -hmm. may or may not actually be there. Uh-huh. Sounds like a plan, get wizard nerd. All right, where am I going? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. No. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? What? I uh, oh, okay. learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Stab Barrow. Stab you in the throat. Dragonstone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Uh-huh. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, uh -huh. and bring it to me. Mm -hmm. Simplicity itself. I'm sure. Uh, anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Sweet. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. But it's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. You jerk. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction you. once you get there. Burn. Uh, how do you know the stone tablet's in well, the barrow? Must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? No. I have my sources. Reliable sources. I don't believe you. Mm, can I sell you Take anything? Can I clear out my inventory? I can. Alright, you can have this. Not gonna need this. 
I really don't need this. I don't need this. Sweet. Um. Really don't care about all the other stuff. I guess we'll get. How can I learn more about magic? And I know I'm going to get a quest for it, but it's fine. A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. And there's the quest. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Jarl is not a patient man. Neither am I, come to think of it. We need it quickly. Before it's too late. Yeah, of course, yeah, Jarl yeah. Valbu. You seem to have found me. Blah, 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 speeches. Man, people love to talk in this town. So, let's Vegas, go ahead and... But this talk of dragons... World gone mad, I say. I mean, I'm sure we're just all quite loco hot cocoa, but it's fine. So what we're gonna do, we have a quest to go jump into a very dangerous dungeon, get stabbed with many pointy things, here in the city and, not out in and get a rock. So my question is, do I have enough gold to get anything better than what I got? Nope. Alrighty, guys, we're doing this the fun way gonna go in head first and try not to die so but with that I will sit on the crossroads here it's just us against the dragon is that it I can't afford to send anyone else <coughs> and we don't know where the dragon is your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves but I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a wasted. Sweet. So with that fun little pep talk of do your freaking job, we're going to go ahead and stop for the episode. And we'll take back up at Bleak Fall Burrows where we dive in and try not to die. I'm sure it's just going to go fantastic. With that, the Grumly One signing out, and boy!